Hi, welcome back to Come Paint with me. I'm Norma. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for joining me for another video. I hope that you will find this at least, at the very least, entertaining. Um, knowledgeable. I'm not too knowledgeable on all aspects, but I try everything and I tell you what I've learned. And I think that's really important. Okay, so today I'm doing something a little bit different. As you can see over here, I have some chains. I'm going to do a chain pull. And let me show you the one I did in practice. I wanted to see exactly how I was going to do this. And it, it turned out really well for my first try, but I'm going to do it on a bigger canvas and I'm do kind of basically a bigger scale and I'm going to do it on a black background. Mainly that is because this is a scraped canvas. So I painted my sides so I can make sure that uh, the sides are covered and then I'll just put a layer of black on top. It has to stay pretty thin. Um, you don't want it like you would to push around paint. So you just want it to to, to to cover the top, you know, I definitely want it to cover the white. Hopefully it will, because I didn't think about that. Maybe I should paint the whole thing. Well, I guess we'll find out. So, here we go. I'm going to um, probably speed you up on some things. I'll move this over a little bit once I get this, um, the black blown out a little bit. Um, sometimes I blow it out and sometimes I use the uh, big spatula, big handy dandy spatula. Got it on Amazon. So um, I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to see which ba way is best. And sometimes I can just tilt it off and I don't want to make a mess, but how can you not make a mess when you do this? Yeah. Um, I was going to tell you where I got that. This little thing. It comes with another um, connector too that goes on the end of here. Um, I suppose you could blow either way, but um, it came from PSR, which is Pour Scrape Repeat. And so far, it's been very helpful. That way I don't dip my boobs in the paint. But, put that away. Now I am ready to put the paint down. Um, the color scheme is going to be the same. Um, the reason behind that is... Um, that this is um, a painting for my daughter who is pregnant with her first child and her husband has a nah, nine, ten year old daughter and and then the baby so I picked their favorite colors which is his is green, hers is pink um, Tracy's is pink, 
uh, Aaron's is purple and the baby's a boy so we're just doing light blue. So I'm going to go ahead and probably speed you up for this. painted the sides twice and made sure everything was covered and I still have that side to check because I can't see so I hope you found this entertaining please give me a like a thumbs up a like and a subscribe to my channel and set the bell to all so you will get uh, email notifications when I have posted a new video and I hope that at the very least you learned something and it was a little bit entertaining and maybe you got some do's and don'ts and you can put those in the comments below and just maybe I have inspired somebody to try something new that's all I can ask for thanks for stopping in please come back and paint with me I got some cute little cells there. Nothing big or I wouldn't want them too big because then it takes away from the actual pattern of the video. So Tracy, Trey, Aaron, and Peanut, I hope you like it. And I hope you're happy always. <laughs>